it is not uh, as somebody said, oh, the statement that I really, really got me annoyed. They say, I had to go through the pain. I, I went through the pain of watching this movie. I, I really didn't know what to see it, but I went through the pain just so I could say, make a review for you guys so you don't have to. Who are you to say that? How are you sure they won't like it? They don't have your taste. You don't have that taste. You never know. Plus, it's free. They don't have to pay. Go and watch it for yourself and say what you like and don't like. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're just meeting me for the first time, and uh, here we do music movies, short films, tech reviews, and stuff like that. But today we're gonna be reviewing Coming to America. I'm a young filmmaker who has the dream to make his own movie someday, and I just think uh, there's so much um, hate about this movie going on that I really feel bad about. I think people should give this movie a break, let it, you know, make its own course. It is not free or fault, but it is not terrible. It is worth watching, definitely worth watching. It's so bad, you know, that it hurts. It hurts me even. I am not a director, I'm not the di actor, I'm not the producer, I'm not even involved in the movie. I still get hurt by the words of the people, you know, for a movie that isn't really bad. You know, some said, you know, dumb, some said stupid, some said unnecessary, some said too late, but who are you really to judge? And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna say my own versions of, what I didn't like and what I liked, but I'm gonna try and do it reasonably. Um, I'm not gonna be cursing at the actors, at the director, at the producer. Uh, no, you don't have to do all that. You could criticize constructively, and it will be, you would send the same message you are sending, but in a better fashion. You know, right now it looks like you want someone to go hang. It's terrible, honestly, it is terrible. You don't, if your dad or your mom or your brother or sister was the director of this movie, would you say those words? I'm just, I'm just saying because I really feel like um, people went over, but people think that for, in order for them to shine, they have to put somebody else down. You know, and that's not true. That's complex, it's inferiority complex, insecurity. And sometimes it is immaturity. You just feeling like, oh, this is my time to shine. Let me bash, oh, they messed up. So I'm gonna just give it to them and you know, take my spotlight. No. Yeah, is it anything close to the first part? No, no one expected it to be. That's a classic, but is it bad? No, it is not. It's. It has its flaws, like most movies. It's disrespectful to, to Eddie. Eddie is a legend. Telling the man those words or saying those words back at him for all these years of effort, I'm gonna state some things that you should commend Ed Murphy. He deserves praise, he deserves accolades and um, encouragement, okay? Tell him you did it, it wasn't a hundred percent, but we got your back. That's a better way of saying stuff. Now, why am I saying this? Eddie Murphy has brought out, he has brought, up, brought out, he has featured actors like I've never seen anybody do. And he did that in Coming to America. And almost everybody that was in that movie turned out to be a star, it turned out to be, I mean, most of them were their first time. You know, he brought up people and made them stars. He, he showcased a lot of people. And this time, 
I think he was trying to double the effect, you know, and reach out to more people, lift up some more people, and I wouldn't see nothing wrong with that. Now, the director, maybe he didn't do a perfect job with the cast on board, but the movie is already sold, but, you know, thanks to Amazon, but Amazon is not gonna run at a loss. No, it's not gonna run, run at a loss. Now, check out the views, everybody coming about to talk about this movie and and hating on it check out how could you uh, if you hate the movie so much would you be able to do without the review because you know you need it the movie even is helping you hate it because you're gonna get i mean i look at your views but a lot of them this is gonna be the probably the most viewed of all their videos you know why because it, it's a powerful movie it's i mean I, I mean not like the first one but it's riding up the first one so it's still a powerful movie number one they said eddie was trying to um was running up the wakanda fame or glory or trying to you know the whole thing was kind of um, looking like wakanda okay i would say maybe yes maybe not but hello who started it who started it if he i mean <laughs> good thing that he got zamunda first otherwise they would have said a lot of people would have said he copied zamunda from wakanda right now that out of the way the set everything was also similar to what he had already done before he took it to the next level, like trying to, you know, upgrade what he started. You know, I don't, I don't think he did anything wrong, you know, in that area. Okay, I'm gonna say what I think went wrong, um, in my opinion. But you gotta give credit where credit is due. This was a very good movie, a classic movie. What watch it even in the cinemas. The appearances, the people in the movie are just so strong and, you know, you can't avoid to like, at least when you see them for the first time, it's like, hey, those things will excite the crowd in the cinema and it will still be electric, believe it or not, beef or not, it will still be electric in the cinemas. You know, for the first time you're watching it, you will appreciate it probably even more because you're sitting in the in your boring living room. You think uh, you assume that you want everything to come turn off your light, turn up your light, and make you fun. You see, one thing I like about the story, one thing I do like about the story, was the fact that the son was almost repeating the father's steps. Now, some of you will say, "Ah, it's the same story." In reality, now be real, in reality, don't this really happen? I find my son acting the same things, playing out the same role that I played at his age. I had bruises on my forehead at his age. He got the two <laughs> bruises, you know, for doing the same kind of things. I mean, it, it, it goes back to, to uh, it goes back to the Bible. Like if if you know about Abraham and Isaac and his son, when he was old, I mean, it's just it's in the blood. You don't even have to be there. That's why you may take the child from the parent and go be raised by somebody else. He still acts like the father. It's in the blood. Okay, so I agree with that storyline. Just like Abraham lied to protect his wife, his son also lied to protect his wife at some point in time. It's just something that happens. It just arranges itself, you know, it will be different forms, but there's a tendency for the son to follow the steps of the father 99% of the time. And even when it's trying to go astray, it's going astray along the lines of the a stray version of the dad. Um, with that in mind, I would say, yes, there's the tendency of, of repetition
to a call and you know act out like and most of the time it is your dad it is your child that reminds you you know some of the things that they told me i had some issues i had oh you are always like this you're always talking this way you're always acting this way you're not and, and argue about it when you see it in your kid sh you shut up and agree that's the strongest language you can get back at yourself you see it in your kid and you know it's wrong then you know where you got where he got it from that's the strong nobody's going to talk to you now you know unless you want to deceive yourself but that's the storyline that i agree with and i think there's nothing wrong with his son acting out the way he did i don't know the situation with which they shot this movie but i can imagine how much effort was put in i'm not going to downplay all that effort he kept saying um ryan coogler director of um, Black Panther, reached out to him. I think uh, he should have done that, and I think he can still do that. This uh, sequel does not kill the um, the um, potential of coming to America too. Yes, let me, before I forget, let me address something. A lot of people said, we, don't, we didn't ask for it. Well, maybe you did not ask for it, but I know over the years, not even just, you know, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I kept seeing requests two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, even last year up to the point that, you know, I saw, I saw interviews where they asked him, is there gonna be a sequel? He laughed like it was ridiculous. Eddie never really wanted to do this movie. You know, requests from people like you. Well, not you, you said you, you didn't ask for it, but a lot of people that follow your channel ask for it, okay? And they got it maybe late, 33 years later. Yeah, but they got it. Let me say the difference between success and failure is a thin line. You, you have to be brave to take that journey. He did a brave thing. It's not it's not easy to go back at you to try and attempt uh, a sequel. It's not easy, especially for a legend like him, you know. Now you're trying to bring him low, you know, for doing a movie like that, from lifting your brothers and sisters up. Some people's career are gonna be, you know, this is the largest stage for some of them. Um, Davido from Nigeria, he sang in this movie. Um, I mean, that's not why I'm, excited about it he, he he appeared in that that's acknowledgement that's something you know um, um what is it called other artists a lot of artists appeared now um someone said it should have been african african content strictly african content not all this um salt and pepper all the artists that showed up you know there was a recross somewhere and some hip-hop going in and here and there in the background it's a trend there's nowhere in the world today being an african from nigeria i'll tell you there's nowhere in the world today that america is not hasn't affected trust me there's nothing you watch here that we didn't watch here we watched good times why you were watching good times we watched, some of you don't know, we watched Different Strokes while you were watching Different Strokes. We were back home watching it on our cable TV. You were, we, were, we watched all the TV series, Martins, everything that you think you know, we know. So it's, it's the, the world, America has been a great country, not today. So the world has been feeding off America. So if you say hip hop is here and you know they, they got it too hip, no, you're not being real because that's what the reality is today. You go to the palaces of the king and their kids are playing hip hop and dancing all the, you know, doing all the roller skaters, you know, doing spins. Yes, a lot of kingdoms are struggling with their kids, you know, looking hip and all that. Yes, it may be wrong. You may say, oh, hold on to your culture. They still got it. 
it's just they, they just love the American way of life and want to imbibe a lot. How won't they? How won't they when when America is all over the place? You know, pushing their content out to the world. It's only normal for that to be the case. Now, if they had done it like Wakanda, like like you know, strictly cultural and nothing you know fancy, it would be accepted too. But the reality, in real life, that is what it's like. What they showed in that movie, that is what it's like. That is what it's like. If everybody, you know, the the Obas and Kings today are, are graduates, some of them schooled in in the US, some of them schooled in the UK. So what do you expect? They wear the native attire, but they are learned. If they, if they want to play all that, don't criticize, don't judge. Make your own movie and do something better. Let's see. You are talking about millions of dollars, you know, on this project, and you are telling them you were all fools to have done this. That's wrong. That's so wrong. And I wish this trend would stop, would end. Uh, criticism is is very vital. Um, yes, we are we are taught to criticize in school, uh, but not not out of line, not out of context, not out of uh, maybe not hate. Why would you bring down your own? I mean, say what's good, what's bad about it, don't drag it down. The same thing would have happened to Coming America 1. I know without a doubt that there were critics back then. Now they're saying it's all good because there's something else to, to step on right now. So Coming to America is all good right now. Uh, season 1 or the original. It's, it's all good right now, but if they drop that, if that was the movie on hand, you still have something to say. So that's not good. That's not good. We're killing our own creativity, discouraging the best of us. I'm not saying, oh, accept everything that's, every trash that's released, if it's people of color, then you you say it's good, it's good. No, I'm not saying the movie is gonna, I'm gonna talk about my issues with the movie as well before I wrap it up. I've already started because number one was, I wish Eddie had gone with um, Ryan Coogler. That would have been a classic, but still it can be corrected. Um, not necessarily is, um, um, part three or something, it could be a spin-off. It could be one of the daughters moving on to, you know, it doesn't have to be Coming to America titled, but you know it's a spin-off from Coming to America. Yeah, yeah. Spin-offs can go, can can stand off now. I think spin-off can, can very well, you know, be taken out of this movie right now. Depending on what Ryan had, he may still be able to pull it off. I, for one, had my own idea of the storyline that I think, you know, you never know, that I think would have been nice, you know. I was thinking, you know, in the line of, in the lines of, um, you know, the family coming back to America just for a visit. Everybody comes to America to make it, you know, to visit like the great country where you went to find your bride. Come home, come see the girl's family, you know. Did she ever come back to her family since she went to, I mean, come back home, have challenges, you know, let her family be the one to drag them back to America, come to America because you of her family, um, because of something in her family, and then they come back here and they meet some challenges. Um, someone, particularly I wanted Simon L. Jackson, who was arrested for, for the restaurant issue, to have been back up from prison, um, and to be some kind of um, drug lord in the United States, uh, you know, rich now, and then he will be able to, you know, tussle and kind of go at it with the rich. But then again, they fight another kind of battle, and Akim remains, you know, Akim in terms of skill, courage, uh, and uh, hero. 
okay? Um, which was downplayed in this version in order for other people to shine. With all these characters, you can't really build in, um, everybody in well enough. Um, so those, those are my um, issues with the movie. Um, but, you know, you never know. It sounds, to me, it sounds like ah, it could have been better or it could have been great enough. But when you actually put it to paper and actually shoot the film, you know, that's when you know it might not be as great as you thought. So, you know, I would have wanted to see someone L. Jackson, you know, come out of prison, you know, and become rich and be the, the Western Snipe role, you know, kind of, but not in uh, Zamunda, but in the US, and they get a kind of challenge and all that. But then I didn't see this coming. I think uh, they did a good job with the storyline, but they didn't, it wasn't perfected, um, it wasn't perfected, um, but yeah, it was definitely worth watching. Do I regret watching? No, I definitely, wa I watched it twice already, see? You know, cause so uh, it's no harm. It is free, people. It is free. You do not even need uh, an Amazon Prime to watch it. <laughs> All you have to do is subscribe for one month, and you may not even have to pay. I think they still have one month free subscription, and then you cancel at any time. You don't need one month. You need two days or one day. Watch your movie and cancel. They still let you ride to the end of the month. That's how generous they are, <laughs> you know. So, thanks to Amazon, we see we're seeing this, you know, and that's a great thing. It is a great thing, you know, um, especially at times like this. It is not, uh, as somebody said, oh, the statement that had really, really got me annoyed. They say I had to go through the pain. I, I went through the pain of watching this movie. I, I really didn't know what to see it. But I went through the pain just so I could say, make a review for you guys so you don't have to. Who are you to say that? How are you sure they won't like it? They don't have your taste. You don't have their taste. You never know. Plus it's free. They don't have to pay. Go and watch it for yourself and say what you like and don't like. You might just learn one thing in the entire movie, one thing, and that thing may change your life. Go and see the movie for yourself. But a lot of times people think that the only way to shine is to put somebody down and stay on top. A lot of people said dumb, some said stupid, some said unnecessary. I, people ask for this movie. People without a doubt ask for this movie. I want you to go ahead and comment in the, go ahead and comment, you know, do you think that it was forced on us? I don't think so. I watched a lot of interview, a lot of interview. Even even John Amos, I saw his interview when, when they talked about him, so they were like, what do you think about coming to America too? You think, you know, why don't you, why don't they do it? And he said he would, it would be a pleasure to come back and be a part of that. Everybody who was in that movie, season one, was glad to be there. The new character in, characters in this one, Norman Freeman, um, someone said, you brought Norman Freeman just to say a line? Someone said, you brought um, the backing lady to just come and say, whoop, whoop. And that's all? Yes, that's enough to make it shine. That's what she did in the first one. What's wrong with doing it in the second one? Now, was it out of context? Well, people would judge. Let people be the judge. I looked at the rating in Amazon today, and it is as bad as bad as people say it is it is 59 percent um we have 59 percent giving it five stars 59 percent gives gives this movie 
five stars. What does that say? Even if it was 40%, those are 40% human beings who think that this is good. Then you come and say, it is stupid, it is dumb. You're telling those people they are dumb. You're telling them they don't know what they, what they like. You're the, you're the movie professor. You're the, you're the genius. How many movies have you made, genius? Now, I'm not trying to diss you. I'm trying to check you because this will go on if not checked. Uh, before I leave, I wanted to ask about a scene that I was surprised I was touched by, you know? It, it sounded funny until, you know, I just wanted to know if it was just me because I really haven't heard anybody talk about it. Spoiler alert, okay? Now this is the part where the, I'm gonna say a spoiler. For those of you who haven't seen the movie, you might wanna go see the movie before you come to this part. But I want to ask those of you who have seen it, what did you think about what did you think about the dad? Um, his funeral, <laughs> he wanted to be there for his own funeral. Um, it was it's crazy, it was, <laughs> I felt like, come on, you know? But, kings, you don't challenge kings, okay? When, when he said he wanted party for his funeral, he wanted to, he wanted to see I was done. Um, Eddie said, oh, yes, yeah, sure, we would do it. And of course, he probably had already loved um, Gladys Knight a lot, like, that's one of his best. So when he, when he saw her performing, he was like, I am, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> and Akin said, yeah, yeah, it will be fine, it will be fine. <laughs> Only for him to actually buy out. Just like that. And the party was still going on, everybody was singing and still. And our king was right there, like, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> it was sad and funny. I couldn't laugh. It was touching. I don't know. I really want to know because. It's how I learn anyway. I really want to know. Did you resonate with that? Like when when he really passed out? When he died, did you feel was it did you laugh? Was it funny for you? Or did you really feel like because from Eddie's expression it was like no, no, you can't you This is this was a silly joke, right? I, we just wanted to do this for you. Are you really? You know, it was that, it was, I felt it was emotional. I really want to know what you thought about that spot, that scene, that, that, um, it, that's very, I'm very interested in that scene and what people think about that, the man passing away in the so-called um, funny funeral. So, in other words, it was actually his funeral. You know, nobody expected him to die, actually die in his funeral, but he did. And I, I didn't see that coming, and I thought that was good. It was, it felt like ridiculous until he actually died. <laughs> and I felt like, good, 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 even though it was sad. I felt really, it was, I felt, now I can laugh about it, but then I was like, oh no, oh no, no, no. You know, I really want to know what you guys thought about it. You know, if that's what you give back to me on, for this video, I'll really be glad and I really would appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below. What that was your best scene? What other scene you liked? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.